Hey tribe, welcome to HGDC, HD Design to Crochet. Today I'm showing you the next step in my Granny Square tutorial series and we are going to learn how to do the join as you go method. So you are going to need your Granny Squares, your joining collar, a hook and I'm using 3.5mm and you're also going to need your scissors and your darning needle. Join as you go is a method of crocheting your squares together rather than having to seam them or use a needle. And what you quite simply do is add on your next round to your granny square, but as you add it on, you attach to the adjacent granny squares. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Join as you go differs from continuous join as you go. If you are using a different colour for each final round, you'll need to use join as you go. But if you're using the same colour for each round, you can use the continuous join as you go, which means that you don't need to end at the end of each square. You just continue and add them all together in one big panel. This is an example of continuous join as you go. I have used black for every joining colour, and so I started on one end and ended on the other which means there's only two ends and the entire joining of the black whereas on this one I stopped on the end of the pink and the end of the red and so on and so on whether you use continuous join as you go or join as you go it's a great way to save on the amount of ends that you need to weave in it's also more enjoyable for me personally because it's more crochet time as opposed to having to sit and sew the granny squares together okay let's get started each of my squares are going to be four rounds in total including the joining color and so for the first square i simply need to add on the fourth round as if it was a normal granny square because it is a normal granny square so I am going to quickly add the fourth round like you would to any granny square and then meet you back here Okay, having put on the fourth and final round on my first granny square, I now want to put it on the second square and begin joining my squares. So to do this, begin making your granny square in the normal way. Attaching your yarn, chain three, and place two trebles. I always begin in a corner when I do join or continuous join as you go. And then you want to pick up the granny square that you're connecting to and put them wrong sides together, bums together, and then you're going to slip stitch in between the two corners, in, in between the two, you're going to slip stitch in the corner before continuing the corner on this granny square. You then want to slip stitch on this side of the trebles and then place three treble like you normally would in the granny square on this end. And then slip stitch into the granny square behind. Now as you add your round to the purple granny square, your second granny square, and you create your clusters of trebles or doubles, you simply slip stitch into the adjoining granny square. This way they'll join together as you are working the round. So I'm going to continue my way across here, placing three double or three treble. 3 treble if you are in the UK, 3 double if you are in the US or using US terminology into here and slip stitch there and then I will place 3 treble or double into here, slip stitch into there 
and then continue my way around. There's no other granny squares to attach to, so it's only these two edges that need to be slip stitched together as you go along. So to continue, place your three treble or double as you normally would into this granny square and then slip stitch into this gap and then begin your corner and then slip stitch and from that point on you then add the fourth round to this purple granny square as if it was a normal granny square because there's no other edges that you need to slip stitch into. A simple thing to remember with join as you go or continuous join as you go is after you've made a cluster of three trebles or doubles then you need to slip stitch into the adjoining granny square. So now just finish this square as you would any normal square and then meet me back once you've got to that point. Snip your yarn pull the end through and then you have successfully done your first join as you go. This is a great way to put together granny squares using scraps out of your stash. It means you don't need to buy a joining colour that's all of the same. To make something like this you can just join with all different colours and it's really really effective and simple. AK Tribe, thank you for watching and go on to the next one to learn how to do continuous join as you go, all part of the HDDC Granny Square tutorials. Thank you Tribe, take care and happy making. Uncle Sam.